Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to CCXRC. Today on the bench, we have got bag F of the SMT10 builder's kit, the raw builder's kit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and be doing this. It's going to be the drive shafts, but then it looks like if we complete this in time, we'll get on to putting in our electronics tray and battery tray build and some other stuff in the manual, getting ready to, to assemble the cage, putting in the header, stuff like that. So should be easy. This is going to be the fun part. You're starting to see the end of the build coming along. So that's exciting stuff. So we'll get through these drive shafts and uh, yeah, moving on. All right, guys. So here's what we're looking at right here. We're going to be assembling the ends here of the drive shafts. We're going to be doing this twice and uh, building these out. These are the uh, wild boar drive shafts. So it's a pretty simple setup. We're going to be assembling all this stuff here and then attaching it with this screw at the end so let's get to it all right quick note that we're going to point out to all of you guys as you're building this the numbers on these do not correspond with the book so this says ax31586 uh, the book says that they are part ax31114 as you can see these are the pieces that they're talking about the second problem is that the black number here or black box numbers that would correspond to the number on the tree but you can see the number one here is for the center part of the drive shaft but here it's the number three and so all of the numbers on this are wrong so this whole page but this is the part tree you're looking for and I'll try to make as best a call out on these as I can alright so here I've got all my parts laid out for uh, assembling these so that I can quickly grab each of the pieces. It's really not that bad to put these together so we're just going to get to it. It visually will make sense to you. The biggest problem is that the the length of these are different and with the numbering being off you just have to look at it and so we're going to build this longer shaft with like the crown end here is going to be um, on the longer shaft and then the shorter one will be on the bottom but again it's problematic because they give us three sizes and it doesn't correspond to the tree if I still had an RTR I'd look at that but I don't so we're gonna go with the, the longer and the middle length one all right so first things that we have to do here is get our utter butter ready all right so I'm gonna grab one of these get one of our middle pieces here so what I do is I, I always use the um, utter butter to hold pieces in place so this as well as this will kind of help keep it where I want it inside of this end here that way it won't keep spinning freely make it easier for me to line it up with this. I'm going to take one of these pins, slide it right through this hole. So then we'll put the crown on the top there and that's going to hold that pin in when we put our um, grub screw through here to attach it to the uh, transmission. Next piece is we've got to go ahead and screw in this. It's going to basically push into the bottom, and this is the longer one. It's going to push into the bottom of the shaft there. And then we're going to use some blue thread lock. All right, so what we're going to be doing is doing some thread lock, and we're going to need our number two millimeter wrench. I'm guessing. Yes, I guessed right. 2 millimeter wrench and we're going to be taking some blue thread lock putting it on here and then we're going to put that down into the uh, inside of the drive shaft I like this gel permatex thread lock it seems to do really well some of the watery stuff I don't feel like it always is um, I don't know I guess you got to shake it up or whatever I, I don't feel like it always gets 
good bite. All right, so that's it. That's one half of this drive shaft. You'll insert this guy and then you'll build the other half, which we'll do now, which is gonna be our shorter one. I'm gonna grab another one of these. We're gonna be doing this whole process two times, and so it's pretty straightforward. Grab another one of the little black jobbies here. Uh, these things probably all have names, but um, I don't know them. <laughs> and put it onto here, lining up the holes for this pin. We'll use a little grease to pick it up. Slide it through like that. And we're going to put this guy on like so, which you'll see will also have a hole here that at some point will line up when we're putting it to the axle or the transmission side, whichever side it happens to be. But now what we have to do is same thing, we're going to be screwing this in, same blue thread locker on it, and then we're done with this part. We'll do the other two, but uh, we'll, we won't do that on camera, it's the same process, and we'll, we'll get moving on after that. Now I'm phasing these, which means that you want your screw, it's over here now, where your drive shafts are going to go through, you want them to be in the same spot on the uh when they go together so all right so now we're moving on those are done to our electronics part here which is for our receiver box i don't have my receiver yet that i know of so we're just going to go ahead and build this and it's just going to basically attach right onto here so you have this little rubber piece this rubber piece is going to just slide in here and what you use this for is when you do put in your receiver and all your different electronics and the wires feed in you just kind of put them in here and it'll kind of waterproof seal it when it's jammed in here just keep it uh from getting too much moisture in there you can have this little seal ring it's going to sit right on the top here followed by this cap i'm going to tighten mine all the way down because i'm going to have to take them out when I do go to build it, I just want to have them there when I need them. See, all these are the 1.4 inch or 1.5, not inch, millimeter size hex heads on them for all these screws that are going into this part. All right, so the other thing that we have to do is we have to put the um, ESC here, which I don't have the uh, the ends on it, and I can always stick that in later. But if you have yours ready to go with your battery leads, go ahead and do that part. I'm going to skip that for now, and I'm going to move on to the next part, which is going to be um, assembling this tray and the little door that's going to go on here, kind of sit on here, and that's where it's going to receive the door, and this is where the door going to be mounted like so they do make some really cool aftermarket stuff that you can do here that are shaped like a fuel cell that's really cool that mounts into this section but we're not going to do that for this one not yet at least i have one on my uh sticker bomb it does make it hard for me to get the leads out and plugged in and all that with this whole area being enclosed so 438 is going to be the long one, the long screw, and that is going to go right here. And take your little pin, and it'll go right there. And that'll hold your battery in place, which is nice. Got a lot of these 3S soft packs. So just make sure it fits. This is the size I normally do. Yeah, so the bottom hole is what I'm using. All right, so that looks good. Just want this to be able to slide in. Like so. 
a lot of times you can glue or double-sided tape a little piece of foam there to keep it from sliding around just like this is kind of what I've chosen to do I'll show you guys here live so that instead of that so these ones go sort of up and back they come down and in but the quick way to do it is just flip your headers up or flip them down the stock ones it definitely is if you're not going to get any of these from shapeways or ross hinshaw or whoever you get them from um, I know that Hetmanski makes um, – who is it that I got these? Monster Truck Parts, I think is what his name is on their Shapeways. Monster Parts. So these are his headers, and these are made to go down. See his logo on it. There it is, finished up, guys. Mounted on. A couple steps are done. We got more to do. Oh, snap, we do. They do want us to build the whole chassis today. All right. Buckle in. I love progress. Now we're starting to talk. Now it's looking good. Really good headway. So this will be the front end right here. We'll put that on next. Really good headway. So this will be the front end right here. We'll put that on next. This is all going to slide in here. What screw is that going to use? 434s. Put the other side in. That's just going to, everything should just line right up. Just so that we can feel more accomplished, though, let's just put it in there. Let it hold itself. Just, just feels done that way. Ground. Pretty good angle. This seems like a good stopping point because we're going to have to open up bag H here. And so I'm just going to put it on pause for a minute and we'll do this bag H as the next step and then look at the driver, um, which has to be painted and all that, sprayed and assembled with stickers and all that. Last thing we're going to do is put in the top right here i just stuck it in there without any screws for now i don't want to go too far because i do have to still install electronics we'll get to the wheels this um sponsor plates which i have mine already stickered up by these sticker packs like this is from traxxas picked up at my local hobby town and um that's an easy way to get a bunch of decals on them tires we have the j concepts tires we'll be looking at have to put our hexes and that kind of stuff on this bag J, but we are almost there. We're in the, the final stretch, so that's exciting, guys. Anyway, thanks for tuning in for another part of this SMT10 build. Uh, it's been tedious for sure, but we're marching on, and things are looking good, and I can't wait to have it done. And I know that uh, you guys, if you're watching this video, hopefully are nearing the completion of your build as well, if you have one. If not... Thanks for just watching. If you made it this far, especially say you made it this far. Um, but here's a look at it up close and personal. All right, guys, have a great night. Have fun, Arsena. We will catch you next time.